Hey what's up everyone and welcome to my E3 2013 conference wrap up video. This is part 2 and in this part I will be talking about Sony and Nintendo. I already talked about Microsoft, EA and Ubisoft. If you missed that video I'm not surprised because YouTube was screwing up yesterday and they posted my video at 3 a.m. my time so I wouldn't be surprised. So if you want to go check that out it's the last video I posted. Most likely you'll see it on this side somewhere up there maybe. I don't know. But uh, if not, just click on my channel. It's my last uh, video besides this one, of course. So I'm going to be talking about Sony and uh, Microsoft, I mean, and Nintendo, but I will also be talking about some of the games I saw while watching IGN and GameSpot stream and even Spike TV. I'll be talking about what I saw and what I think of those. Just, just a few games, not too many. And I'll be talking about my predictions. Were I, was I right? Was I wrong? M mostly wrong. But was I right sometimes? Maybe. So... Yeah, let's get into it. Alright, now the, the website I found that has the Sony press conference, they did it in a weird way, but uh, I have to give them credit because I couldn't find a good one to save my life. Um, so they did it where they, they described everything that was shown there, except they did it in categories, which is actually kind of cool. The website is called UGamers, thank you, um, UGamers.com. And uh, they started off with PlayStation Vita, uh, PS3, PS4, PSN. Then they went to the uh, games that were announced, some new trailers. They did it all in like categories. And now a lot of this is in chronological order, where they, you know when it's it's shown first and then what's shown last, of course. But um, some stuff is sporadically changed around. So let's get straight into it. Actually, let me take a drink just so I can get into it. All right. PS Vita is the first category, which is the first thing they talk about. Now I should say that Sony opened up like they usually do with a big montage. It looked awesome. It was a, you know, it started off like a show, but then Jack Trenton came on and started talking a lot about stuff, which is fine. That's how that's how Sony does it. And he talked about PS Vita. He said there's going to be more than 85 titles coming by the end of this year for the PS Vita, which is insane if that's true. Uh, which a lot of it will be downloadable, sure, but that's fine. This includes Batman Arkham Origins, Counter Spy, which I don't know what that is, Destiny of Spirits, which I don't know what that is, Doki Doki Universe, which I have some, I, I kind of know what it is, Killzone Mercenaries, which I definitely know what that is, and Terror Way, which is another game, I definitely know what that is. Uh, they also announced God of War HD 1 and 2, Final Fantasy X, or I'm sorry, Final Fantasy 10 and 10 2, Flower, and Dead Nation will be coming to Vita. <laughs> Um, they also announced The Walking Dead Season 1, Telltale's The Walking Dead, will also be coming to the PS Vita, along with The Walking Dead 400 Days, which is the, the bridging of the gap between Season 1 and Season 2 that uh, Telltale is doing this summer. I think it's actually like late July or middle of July or something, I'm not really sure. But um, yeah, that's coming to Vita also, along with Season 1. And there's actually going to be a bundle of Season 1 and Season, I mean, and 400 Days. Uh, in August with the PS Vita. So if you get a PS Vita in August, you'll get Season 1 and the new episode. So there you go. PS3 now, that was all for PS Vita. That was that was pretty good for PS Vita. They announced a lot of stuff real quick, but, you know, a lot of stuff we've already played and some stuff that looks cool, don't get me wrong. Alright, PS3. They announced, uh, well, they didn't announce, they showed the Last of Us trailer because it's coming out soon. They have to, you know, show one last trailer, which was cool. It was a great trailer. Cannot wait to play it. Coming out in a couple days. Uh, they showed the Puppeteer trailer again, which I think looks really good. It looks like Little Big Planet, except maybe a little bit more interesting to me, because I'm not a big Little Big Planet fan. Um, they showed another trailer for Rain, that game where you play as a, 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 a invisible boy or invisible girl, and you walk through a rainy town, and you can only see the rain spattering on the ghost. It, it, it's cool. Definitely look at the trailer. It's a cool little concept. Beyond Two Souls they sh showed a trailer for, which that game is blowing my mind every time I see a new trailer, because it's just always showing something brand new, a different, a different thing is always happening. Like, in this one, she's like a soldier or something like that. Okay, and the other one, she was like a homeless girl. They, you know, it did. I don't know. I have no idea how they're gonna connect all that stuff. So, <clears throat> can't wait. Gran Turismo 6 trailer. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, I don't care. I, I don't even remember them showing that. So, uh, yeah, I'm not a big Gran Turismo fan. I'm not a big realistic racer fan. So, <clears throat> ooh, uh, they showed Batman Arkham Origins. Uh, they showed a trailer. Uh, it comes with exclusive DLC for PS3. Uh, a Nightfall skin and a, a 1960 TV show skin, which, 
cool, I guess. Whatever. Sony is planning an exclusive Grand Theft Auto 5 PS3 bundle for $300, which includes uh, a branded headset. Wait, hold on. What is it? No, it includes a... I'm pretty sure it includes a headset with the game, doesn't it? I I'm not sure. I think it comes with a headset. If not, the headset will also be available later. I'm not sure. So, uh, yeah. That was PS3. Uh, PS4, I'm sorry if you hear talking in the background. I can't stop that. Uh, PS4 system hardware shown. There's an image. Uh, I can't explain that. Looks like hardware. Good, good job. Um... PS4 supports used games. Shots fired. That's the thing that <laughs> Sony, Sony fanboys fucking just that was that was just adding flame. I mean, adding flame to the fuel, yeah, adding fuel to the flames because Sony fanboys got real happy when Sony said that they were like, yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on Xbox. 360fanboys.com I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make a account called PS3 for life I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell everybody they suck like people 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 got happy and some people got pissed uh, I thought it was funny and my, my personally I thought it was actually really funny especially since Jack Trenton was just completely serious like he was just like yeah that's that's what happened it can play used games there you go they didn't do it sarca well no they did it sarcastically they didn't do it like jokingly like oh and our system can play used games huh yeah that's right yeah that's right dickheads uh there won't be any kind of online authentication to play your games which means you don't need to sign on every 24 hours like xbox one it's coming to the u.s and europe this holiday season and unlike xbox this will be 400 dollars besides 500 so in the u.s uh 400 in euros and 349 in pounds, which I think in pounds they're kind of getting screwed in a way, but they get screwed with video games all the time, I think. So, <laughs> sorry. Um, so, that was great. PS4, they showed a lot of stuff. Awesome. Now, PSN, there's a lot of bulletins here. Damn. damn. Uh, okay. Sony Pictures announces a new programming plan for PSN users. More details to come at a later date. I'm not really sure what it was. I wasn't really ex like very much paying attention, but it looks like you'll be able to see Sony Picture movies early or something like that. I'm not completely sure. Both video and music unlimited will be available on launch day. You can uh, rent, own, or blah, rent slash own over 150 thousand movies and stream over 20 million songs. So there you go. It'll be uh, available on launch day. I think it's like 50 bucks a month. I mean, yeah, 50 bucks a month. 50 bucks a year. So. I don't know. Uh, new services are being able... Uh, ugh, I can't talk. See, this is what happens when I, I talk for a long period of time. Wish I had just like a pause feature for this video so I could just press play and well, press record again and I'll be right back into it. But I don't want to keep this as one long video. Okay, here we go. New services are being added to PSN. Services include Reebok... Reebok? What the hell? Alright, that... That was a typo. Redbox Instant by Verizon. Yeah, Redbox Instant, yeah. A live events viewer and Flickster. They put Rebox, by the way. I didn't screw that. Yeah, Rebox Instant. You get your shoes from PS4. Does everything. Isn't that the tagline for PS3? That's the tagline for PS4. Again, indies will be able to self-publish their own content, which is awesome. Existing PS Plus subscriptions will carry over to PS4. You'll only need one PS subscription account for PS3 and PS4 and PS Vita. Just like right now, you only need one for PS3 and PS Vita. PS Plus subscribers will receive one free PS4 game every month. The first will be a PS uh, Plus ver edition of Drive Club. That's awesome. Um, sounds like PS Plus... And this Now this sucks. Sounds like PS Plus subscription is required for multiplayer on PS4. So that means if you want to play uh, multiplayer on PS4, you will need a subscription to uh, PS Plus. So that kind of sucks. Cloud gaming service will be available in the U.S. starting in 2014. PS3, PS4 users will gain access to a huge catalog of games through this service. So there you go. All right, now they showed a bunch of other stuff too. Oh my God, they, yeah, they showed a lot of stuff. All right, let me just go through this pretty quickly. They showed a brand new exclusive, a PS4 exclusive called The Order 1886, which I think is being made by the guys that made the God of War games on PSP, which look really good at very steampunk uh, punkish, uh, punkish, Jesus. Uh, but not not much else. They just showed a trailer. It looked really good graphically. Um, looking forward to it. It's it's uh, the trailer was done in engine too. So it, when you see the trailer, that's what it's gonna look like too. The graphics, good. Uh, new trailers, 
for a bunch of games that we already knew about. They showed Killzone Shadowfall, which looks really good, don't get me wrong. It, should, it looks very Far Cry-ish this time, to me at least, what they showed. Drive Club, which I, again, I don't really care about. Um, Infamous Second Son, which looks good. I, I mean, I'm sorry, not good. It looks amazing. I'm sorry. I thought I was talking about something different. No, Infamous Second Son actually looks fantastic. I'm really looking forward to that. Knack, I think I talked about that earlier in a different video, but it looks good. Nothing amazing. But Knack, uh, Knack could be good, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, NBA 2K14, it's, it's basketball. Good job. Um, <laughs> good job. Uh, they also showed a new, um, a new, what is it called? Uh, from Quantic Dreams. They always do this. A new tech demo. There you go. Um, called The Dark Sorcerer, which was pretty entertaining for the most part. I mean, it, it looked really damn good. Um, the old dude is back from one of those earlier tech demos that Quantic Dream did. It looked really good. Um, so, yay. Transistor, which is a brand new um, indie game, I think, indie game from Supergiant Games. They got it, the guys that did Bastion. Um, and it looks really good. So, yay. All right. Sorry for the jump cut there. Let's get back into it. They also announced a bunch of indie games that are coming to PS4. Don't Starve, which looks great. A game that's already on PC. Looks really good. Can't wait to play that. Mercenary Kings, Octodad, Dadliest Catch, which looks awesome. Uh, Octodad 1 is one of the funniest games I've ever seen, so can't wait for that. Secret Ponchos, Raise the Dead, um, Outlast, which looks like a great horror game. It's the one with like the camera and you're in that house and there's this big dude chasing you. You have to hide. Looks awesome. Oddworld, new and tasty remake, which Oddworld's one of my favorite series, so definitely a big plus there. And Gallic Z, which looks kind of cool, I guess. It just looks like a kind of shooter game. I don't know. Uh, they didn't show too much for that. So that's all console. Those are all console exclusives. So there you go. Next game they showed will. Uh, well, they didn't show. They announced that Diablo 3, the PS4 edition, will include exclusive items. They only That's all they said. Final Fantasy Franchise. Now, this is the thing that was big, big. They announced Final Fantasy Versus 13 again, and it is coming, except now it is called Final Fantasy 15. And it does, I'm going to tell you right now, it does look awesome. It doesn't look like a straight-up Final Fantasy game. It looks like an action-based game that most likely will have a lot of RPG elements. And the story itself, I probably won't really care for, but the gameplay, what I saw, looked awesome. Just jumping off freaking buildings and stuff. Oh, it, it looked sweet. It did. And, and, they also announced Final Fantasy XIV, the MMO that everybody hates, is coming exclusively to PS3 and PS4, which I don't care because I heard it's terrible, but maybe it'll be good on consoles. Who knows? And the big thing, oh boy, the big thing they announced, probably the biggest thing they announced at this, con at this conference, Kingdom Hearts 3! Yay! Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming to PS4 and Xbox One. Um, I actually, I think... Um, uh, uh, God, what the hell? 15 is also coming to Xbox One. So, there you go. Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm happy for you guys. I, could care, I couldn't care less, to be honest. I'm not a big Kingdom Hearts fan, but I'm happy for you guys. So, good job. You got it, finally. Maybe. I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Um, Assassin's Creed 4. Now, this is probably the most embarrassing part of the demo uh, I mean uh, of the conference the only part that was like oh god and it was an awesome demo until it started screwing up badly where the frame rate just started to chug and chug until it just couldn't chug no more and it just froze and then the demo ended like that it was really just free a letdown and, and the demo was just about the end right where it froze it was like maybe five more seconds and then it would have ended but no it, it froze before that so it was a, it was a really big letdown for some me i was like you know what it still looks awesome and i know the game won't chug like that at all um it was just because it was on the big screen like that um Watch Dogs, they showed another demo and it was free, freaking sick it was freaking sick now that was the demo that they showed uh them yeah, uh, the main character, uh aiden pierce i think he, he uh, actually he he just took out the entire City's Electric. I think that was the demo. I'm pretty sure it was. If it was that demo, that was awesome. I have a lot on my mind. They showed Elder Scrolls Online, which uh, I'm actually kind of excited for because it's coming to PS4. There will be an early beta for PS4, and the trailer looked cool, and I like Elder Scrolls a lot. Online? That sounds awesome to me, so I am actually looking forward to that. And they also showed Destiny gameplay. They showed Destiny gameplay finally, and 
Ooh, that game looks cool. It really does. It look first of all, of course, it's Bungie making a game. They're building a big partnership with Bungie, Sony, of course. So this game most likely will be amazing, just like every other Bungie game I've ever played. So Destiny, I cannot wait for. It looks really sweet. Um, and they also announced a brand new, not really IP, a uh, not brand new IP, but they announced a brand new game, Mad Max. Mad Max is getting its own game, and if you know me. I love me some Mad Max, so the guys that made Just Cause 2, I was hoping it would be Just Cause 3, but you know what, it's Mad Max, and from what I've seen from little snippets of gameplay, it looks pretty damn awesome, so Mad Max, of course, Mad Max, The Road Warrior, Beyond Thunderdome, love all those films, even the third one, I don't care, that's a fun movie, but um, yeah, so Mad Max, I can't wait to get my uh, apocalypse, badass leather coat wearing, shotgun wheeling, Australian badass, badass, on. I don't know, whatever, Mad Max. So that was pretty much it. That was the Sony conference. A lot of stuff, but I will admit there was a part in the middle of the conference, and even the beginning, it was kind of slow in the beginning because there was a lot of talking, that I was like, okay, come on, get to it. And then the last half was just, they got to it. They got to it, especially the part where they just burned uh, Microsoft completely. And that was great, but the first half was a little slow. There's a middle part where they talk about the TV stuff that went on for a good 10 minutes, I would say. And that was very slow. So besides that stuff, and even when they announced a lot of games, they didn't show too much of them. They just said, this game's coming. This game's coming. Like, look at that game Counter Spy that I was talking about. I have no idea what that is. They're just like, this game's coming. This game's coming. I, I wish they spent a little bit more time, maybe just an extra sentence each, just explaining what they are. And some games they did that, but not all of them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say that this conference was jam packed. It had a, a lot of surprises, but but I still didn't love it. But I'm going to give it an eight out of ten. And you know what? I'm gonna give it eight point five, just a little bit better than Microsoft, in my opinion. So there you go. Sony conference was great. Alright, so that went on for a long time, but that's expected. They had a lot of stuff to talk about. So, let's go on to Nintendo, which is the exact opposite. They didn't have too much to show, but they had some good stuff. Don't get me wrong. Alright, so the first thing they started off with was Pokemon X and Y. They showed Pokemon X and Y. They showed a brand new uh, fairy type Pokemon, I guess. I'm not really sure. So there's a brand new type of Pokemon in the world. They showed some graphics, some gameplay, and it looks pretty sweet. They showed a new thing called Pokemon Ami, I think it was called, which is a dumb name. But it's pretty much, you can go and like pet your Pikachu or, or something. You know, you can just hang out with your Pokemon. It's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I'll ever do that, but whatever, that's cool. And when I say that, of course, that means I'm, I'm going to do that all the time. Of course, I'm going to pet my Pikachu all the time, which does not sound right. That sounds very dirty, but that looks pretty cool, I guess. All right, what did they show out? Uh, they showed next after that, I think they showed Super Mario 3D World. Now, Super Mario... 3D World is a Wii U game that I, at first I thought was just going to be a sequel to Super Mario 3D Land. I thought it was just going to be on 3DS. It's going to be another, you know, game like that, but it's not. It's on Wii U and it looks really cool. It's coming out later this year, December, and um, you know, it has you know, it looks like Mario. It's 3D. You get to play four players just like in the 2D ones that are on Wii U and Wii which is cool because it is a 3D platformer, not a 2D one, so I want to really see how that works. They showed off some really cool things, like some of the pipes are now clear now, so you can actually see Mario going through them, and sometimes there'll be obstacles to get past the pipes, and past enemies and the pipes, which, that's cool. So they're adding some new stuff, so, and also it's in HD, first HD uh, 3D uh, Mario game, so there you go. Uh, next game they showed was Mario Kart 8. Mario, blah, blah. Mario Kart 8 was announced. Looks awesome. It's Mario Kart. It really it looks awesome. They they introduced some anti gravity stuff, some hovercrafts, whatever. They have all the stuff that was in the past ones, motorcycles, the carts, of course. They have the gliding, all that stuff. It looks sweet. It really does. Um, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, which was a new Donkey Kong Country game, and it looks awesome don't get me wrong it looks it looks sweet the graphics are amazing what they showed off was just really 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 charming from all the little snippets where you see Donkey Kong you know reacting to something or whatever it looked charming don't get me wrong I was just hoping retro games would actually do something different you know a new IP or something or maybe just bringing back an old IP and making it brand new but no it's a new Donkey Kong game so yay give me a second whoo alright 
Next they showed The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, which will release later this year, and oh boy, I am so excited for this because Wind Waker was one of the Legend of Zelda games that were 3D, not the 2D ones, well, not the top-down ones, um, from the past. It's probably one of the first ones I never finished because there was a part in that game where I remember I just got stuck and I just stopped. I don't know why. So I really want to finish it now so I can say, yep, I finished. Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, so I finished all the 3D ones that, you know, are on consoles. So I finished Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time, uh, Skyward, well, actually, I almost finished Skyward Sword, but I got so close, okay? Alright, I didn't finish Skyward Sword, but I got close. But, and I also finished uh, uh, Twilight Princess, so actually, Wind Waker and, and Skyward Sword are the only two I didn't finish. But Skyward Sword, I'm really close, so I, if I want, I could go finish that right now if I wanted to, but... I'm not. So, alright, those are two. But Wind Waker, I'm really looking forward to. The graphics look beautiful. CG, I mean CG, uh, cell shading uh, in HD just looks so beautiful. It, it looks like it hasn't aged a day from, you know, whatever. But there, there is some stuff that looks iffy, but still, it, it looks amazing in my opinion. Who I need to end this video soon. Who I might do the other part later. I'm not sure. Okay. They showed off Bayonetta 2, finally. Uh, Bayonetta now has a new hairdo. It's shorter, which I, doesn't make any sense to me, seeing that her you know, her costume is her hair, so I don't know how she would be able to cut her hair. I'm not sure, but whatever. Um, it looked really cool. They showed a very small portion of the gameplay. It is coming out in 2014, and what it looks like, it looks really good. I can tell that the graphics aren't as good as um, they would be on Xbox 360 or PS3. To me, not even PS4 or Xbox One. I'm talking about the current gen. And it doesn't really look as amazing as the first game did, in my opinion. But we only saw a little bit, and it's still in the works. So we don't know. Um, Super Smash Bros. Brawl for Wii U and 3DS is coming. There you go. That's a big announcement. Uh, it looked awesome. Mega Man's going to be a character. So is a villager from Animal Crossing, the main character of Animal Crossing, and so is the Wii Fit Trainer. So there you go, you got three new characters right there, along with all the other ones, like of course, Mario, Zelda, Link, Donkey Kong, Pikachu, uh, all of them. So <laughs> look forward to that, Super Smash Bros. for both 3DS and Wii U. Wii U version looks more uh, realistic, not really realistic, you know, but uh, it looks more HD and it's not ha it doesn't have the big lines uh, that the 3DS version has, seeing that it is cell shaded. It's actually going to have like the big outlines and stuff and it looks really cool on 3DS and it looked absolutely fantastic on Wii U, so I'm actually really looking forward to that. And the last thing they showed, which was a brand new IP, I think, I think, we don't know yet, which is a brand new game from Monolith Software, the guys that made uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, which they're calling X. It looks like it has a bunch of mechs in it. X has mechs. And um, it looked really cool, actually, from what I've seen. You didn't see too much of it, but it looks really cool for what you do see. So there you go. Um, later in the day, actually, they actually make a good point here. They actually added this. Um, the website I'm getting this from, which is financialpost.com. Okay. Business.financialpost.com. Thank you, guys. Fin finances. Um, they also uh, updated this and said... Uh, a new Zelda game on the 3DS received a, a name, the new one, it's called The Legend of Zelda A Link Through Time. So it's a Link to the Past sequel, I think, and it's coming to 3DS, I think, the later this year? I'm not really sure. But it looks really cool also, so yay. More stuff for 3DS and Wii U, and, and, uh, some new IP. Some new IP, just one. <laughs> just new IP. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, Nintendo was okay, it was 40 minutes long, they didn't slow it down too much, and even when it did, Awada's so, he's so charming, he is, I, you want to pinch his cheeks. So, it was, it was an okay, uh, conference, or direct, or whatever you want to call it. So, I'm gonna give it a 7.5, they announced some cool things, they, uh, showed some really awesome trailers, mm. And none of the games that they showed, I was like, meh, I don't like that. They did actually show some game party, and they showed, uh, they actually talked about We Fit You, which is getting delayed along with game party, but they barely showed that, and that didn't slow down at all. And those could be pretty good, too, you don't know, so, I don't know. So, there you go, there is Nintendo, I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10. Pretty good, 40 minutes long, it went by quickly, and they showed a lot of good stuff. But again, they could have showed more, and they could have announced some new IPs or maybe something, 
you know, like, whoa, that that's coming? Not just like, oh, okay, well, of course that's coming. So yeah, there you go. There's Nintendo. All right, so now real quick, and when I say real quick, most likely it'll take me another 10 minutes, I'm going to read off some of the games that I actually saw during E3 while IGN, GameSpot, and Spike were doing their coverage. So I'm going to talk about some of these. The new Thief game actually showed some gameplay. It looks very Dishonored-ish to me, but of course a lot of people called it uh, Dishonored. They called it a lot like Thief. So Thief looks great. I haven't played a Thief game in a very long time. I don't even remember... Um, what you actually do if, if it's a first person. I'm pretty sure it's a first person. This new game is a first person But I, I'm pretty sure the last game was also a first person stealth game But yeah, it, look, it looks awesome what they showed graphically and gameplay wise looks pretty damn sweet uh, Saints Row 4 they showed some more gameplay. They showed more of the powers all the gliding and stuff Those look so freaking awesome. I cannot wait for Saints Row 4 one of my most anticipated games of this year Killzone Shadowfall they showed another trailer which I think it was pretty much the same trailer as the PS4 one, but they showed a little bit more gameplay. It looks great, don't get me wrong, but I'm just not really into it. Um, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2, they actually showed a lot of gameplay during, I think, the Spike coverage, and that looks awesome. I cannot wait for Lords of Shadow 2, which is weird because I never really played the first one, so I actually need to play that game before I get into this one because what I did play of Lords of Shadow was pretty awesome freaking cars um they showed a little bit of the walking dead 400 days they showed a trailer and they showed some gameplay on ign's coverage and it does look like uh, walking dead so we should expect the best um there's also going to be uh things that were that happened in season one that will affect things that happened in walking dead 400 days which is awesome because some of those things that happened in walking i mean in season one were because of you what you chose so that's freaking sweet if they actually pull that off um, they showed more of Wind Waker, and from what I saw in this part of the Wind Waker HD, um, there's supposed to be a thing where you can actually, um, well, you, you or someone else can actually lay down tips from the Miiverse, and people can actually go and pick those up, and they can actually use that to help them if they're stuck on a puzzle. Uh, they're called like a... a Tingle puzzle, t tingle tuners or something like that, something weird. Um, t tingle tips or something, and you pick them up, and it's a me verse tip. That's pretty much what it is, uh, which is cool. Uh, they showed more of The Evil Within, which is a brand new horror game from, I think, the guy that made Resident Evil 2, and that looks freaking awesome, especially they showed some gameplay where you have to do some sneaking, you have to go steal the keys from this big dude that has a big chainsaw, and then you have to go and run away from that same guy with a chainsaw, and it looks so tense. It looks like a Resident Evil 4, definitely. Uh, it, it's pretty much Leon running away from a guy with a chainsaw. Um... It looked really cool. And they showed the Bureau XCOM Declassified, which is going to be a third-person shooter, but it's going to be straight-up XCOM. If you're worried that it's not going to be XCOM, it is. From what I saw, you have to, like, command your guys, make sure they don't die. If they die, they're, you know, they're gone whatsoever. Um, if you die, I'm pretty sure you die forever, too. Uh, I'm not really sure, but um, it looks really awesome. The Bureau XCOM Declassified, I'm actually really looking forward to that. So those are the games that happened. Let me do my predictions now because, oh boy. Um, yeah. <laughs> Prediction-wise, I did not do very good. So yeah, anyway, there you go. Um, that was uh, that. Was that. that was the uh, Ubisoft game. I mean, the no, Ubisoft games. That was, uh, that was the show floor games I saw. So, let's do the predictions real quick. Take a drink. All right. The reason why I said Ubisoft is because that's what we're going to start off with. I said Ubisoft was going to do, they, they were going to show Rainbow Six Patriots confirmed for next gen, which they did not. Beyond Good and Evil 2, which sadly they did not. They showed South Park, which I said they would, so I predicted that right. Splinter Cell, they showed that, so I got two right out of four. Rayman Legends, they did, so I got three out of five. Watch Dogs, they did, so I got four out of six. Assassin's Creed 4, they did, uh, 5 out of 7. Just Dance, a new Just Dance game, yep, uh, 6 out of 8, <laughs> I'm going to lose count, I know I am. A new IP from Ubisoft Montreal, they did not, <laughs> they did not show that, wait, did they? No, they did not. No new IP from Montreal, um, so I was wrong. Uh, a new Ghost Recon, no, they did show a new Tom Clancy game, should get a half point, but I'm not. I, I'm just not going to count anymore um, because I'm going to lose count. Um, 
So no new goose, no no goose recon yet. No ghost recon. Uh, goose recon. Hehe. <laughs> Skyward Sword. Um, the crew they did show, so I got that right. So point one for me. I, I'm not. I don't. I, I'm not counting the points anymore. Um, a new Far Cry 3 game. No. So that was Ubisoft. I got most of those wrong. Well, actually, I got some of those right, but a lot of those were obvious. Um, EA, I said they will show Mirror's Edge 3, I mean Mirror's Edge 2, which was true. By the way, I just heard that Mirror's Edge 2 is going to be open world, which is awesome if you do not know. Need for Speed Rivals, they did show Need for Speed Rivals. Battlefield 4 Live gameplay, which they did and it was glorious. Dragon Age 3, which they did and it was pretty good. They showed a bunch of sports games, which uh, of course that's obvious. A new Mass Effect or a Bioware IP. They didn't show either one, which is sad, but they also showed Titanfall, which we saw earlier with Microsoft, but they showed it at EA. Oh, and also uh, they showed Plants vs. Zombies, a brand new Plants vs. Zombies. I said they were going to show Plants vs. Zombies 2, but that wasn't the case. They showed a brand new one, so I was half right, kind of. All right, Microsoft, oh boy, let me take another drink. <laughs> mm. Microsoft. They, I said they would show Halo 2 HD, which they did not. They showed Halo 5 HD. Uh, no, Xbox One. They, I, I said they might show Killer Instinct or Banjo-Kazooie or maybe, fingers crossed, both. But they only showed Killer Instinct and it wasn't even Rare that's making it. So, yay. Forza 5 with Connect, which they did not. I don't think so, at least. Uh, I think there was a little bit of Connect in there, but they didn't really show Connect. They showed the Drive Atar feature, which actually is a cool concept, but whatever. They showed Rise gameplay, which I, I got that correct. Uh, Fable HD gameplay, and maybe a fourth game announced, which neither was true. New Crackdown announcement? Nope. I said it might be an arcade game. Did not get announced. Call of Duty Ghosts, which was nowhere to be found in all these conferences, which was actually kind of cool. Uh, Witcher 3, which they did show, which I, I got that correct, so cool. Um, Fortnite, which they did not show. Quantum Break, they showed some, uh, well actually they just showed in our cutscene, so I got that right. New Brothers in Arms game, or a new Gearbox IP. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Uh, wrong. Fucking stupid. League of Legends on Xbox One, that didn't happen. New Crytek IP, or Homefront 2. Now, uh, no, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think, did they show, I know Crytek showed, uh, they did Rise, but that's not a new IP, well, it's a new IP, but we already knew about it, so no, I was wrong, and they, sh and I said they'll show Connect Sports 3, and Dance Central 3, I mean, Dance Central 4, which Connect Sports was right, but they didn't announce it during the conference, so I was wrong, and they didn't even announce Dance, uh, Dance Central 4, so, oh, um, now Sony, Sony. Is this the last one? Yeah, I don't think I did. Yeah, I did one for Nintendo. All right, Sony. Beyond Two Souls, they showed. Killzone, they showed. Infamous Second Son, they showed. Watch Dogs, they showed. New Uncharted game from different developer. That's what I put. They didn't show that. Uh, new IP for PS4, they did. That was the 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 order. So I got that kind of right. Even though that's very you know generic of a prediction. Shows the PS4 for the first time, which was obvious that was going to happen, and I got that right. Grand Theft Auto V, which they kind of mentioned it a little bit, but they didn't show new gameplay, so I was right and wrong. And actually, I don't think I actually said that in my E3 predictions video. I have it written, but I think I actually skipped it over while I was doing the video itself. Um, new platformer IP or Ratchet & Clank on PS4, which guess what? Ratchet & Clank ain't happening because <laughs> Insomniac's gone. But a new platform IEP, did they show one? I don't think so. Um, Knack, not really. No, they already showed that before. So that's not a good prediction at all. Some new games for PS Vita, which they definitely did. Killzone PS Vita gameplay, which they showed very little bit of. So I guess I got that right. We'll announce how the PS Vita will work with PS4, which I think they already announced in the, the PS4 reveal um, show. So I don't know why I put that, but... Um, Yay. And The Last of Us last minute announcement, but they didn't do an announcement. They did it. They did, they, did, they did a new trailer. So, yay. Now on to Nintendo. Nintendo, they were going to show Super Smash Bros. U, which I was right. Next 3D Mario game, which is right. Retro's new game, right. New Mario Kart or port of Mario Kart 7, which was the first part was right, not the second part. 
Zelda Wind Waker gameplay, which was right. <clears throat> after that, well, they will, mm, after that they will mention the future for Zelda on Wii U, which they did not do. New Xenoblade or Dragon Quest game or both, which they kind of showed a new Xenoblade game from the guys that made Xenoblade, and it might be Xenoblade, seeing that it start you know the the game is an X, it's called X, so it might be a Xenoblade, so I might get that right, but for now, nope. Uh, Bayonetta 2 release date, 2014, so correct, I guess. And Sonic Lost World, which they didn't even show at all, which was actually very surprising. So, with that being said, that was my predictions. I got a lot of those wrong. I got a lot of them right. Um, that was also the show floor games I saw, and that was the conferences that I did not talk about yesterday. I know it was a long video, but again, it, it's been a long E3. I've been watching a lot of stuff. I've been very busy, so I hope you enjoyed this and the last video. Look forward to my This Is The End review tomorrow, uh, which I was supposed to have one for that today, but I didn't, obviously. So I hope you enjoyed the videos. Thank you for watching, and of course, goodbye, and until next E3... I, I can't wait for some games. Oh boy, this is going to be a big year for games. And next year is going to be big too. So, hell yeah, we're going to get two new consoles. I cannot wait to play both of them. Even though a lot of people were like, mm, yeah, Xbox sucks and mm, PS4 sucks. Come on, come on. It's it, games. Games. Come on, games. So, anyway, there you go. There's my, uh, here's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you and goodbye.